Good morning, Sharks. I'm Ryla. And I'm Ava. Today, we're at the RP Funding Center to support the Lakeland Magic, our city's NBA D-League team. On today's show, Chloe will take us behind the scenes with the Magic, and Dallas has a brain-sharing question all about basketball. Plus, Bria has school announcements, and Briley finds out what sport the Sharks want to see in Lakeland. I'm so excited to be here for today's home game. Me too. As a member of our Lady Sharks varsity basketball team, I plan to take some tips back to our coach. That's a great idea. Let's see what Chloe found out when she spent some time with the Magic players, staff, and fans. Here she is with today's top story. The Lakeland Magic is Orlando Magic's official G League team. The name G League comes from their main partnership with Gatorade. The season offers many exciting theme nights like Blast from the Past, Home from the Holidays, and College Night. Last year was their first official season. They made it to the first round of the G League playoffs, but lost 96 to 90. We're a new team here, and it's, and it's something that's really catching fire in the community of Lakeland as well as Polk County. Uh, we have dedicated fans, people who love to come to the games, and we see them all the time. There's so many fun things that are going on here, and I think more than anything, um, we've integrated ourselves in the community. Uh, we've done a good job with the uh, Habitat for Homeless. Uh, we've also been in schools reading the kids. We've done clinics uh, with, our, with our players as well as our coaching staff. So I think it's a growing, growing situation that uh, is going to be fully embraced by our whole community. My favorite part of working for the Lakeland Magic would have to be all the game days. Um, I love when we come in on game days, the vibe here in the building, getting fans excited, the players excited, and then, of course, getting the win. To me, being a role model for children and teens is just something that I give shout out to my, um, my parents. You know, they raised me to be the young man that I am, and I just want to continue to give them the same knowledge that I was given uh, growing up. Um, the people that look up to me, I just want to tell them to stay positive, that there are always brighter days ahead, um, and that even on your worst day, somebody is still looking for you to bring that same energy to put a smile on their face. My favorite part of the job, uh, besides winning, is just being around everybody, um, getting to hang out in Lakeland and be a part of the community. As a player for the school, I like watching more experienced people um, play basketball and work and communicate together. I like being live at the game and watching the players live. It's cool that you get to come and like see them like locally and you don't have to drive so far. One thing I say is that we can get a little bit more pub to the city. I know there's a lot of people and we can bring a little bit more fans to the arena that would be nice but we are greatly appreciative to the fans that do come out that try to give us as much noise as possible to, the, to continue to keep us going on the court. If you are interested in seeing the Lakeland Magic games, check the schedule at lakeland.gleague.mba.com and head over to the RP Funding Center to catch their next game. Chloe Lanham, TSC News. Thanks Chloe, now I have great tips to take back to my coach. You know who else has great tips? Who? Dallas. She's going to teach us how math and basketball go hand in hand in today's brain strain question. Basketball is a sport that requires many skills. Shooting the ball requires precise hand and eye coordination. Basketball also requires math skills such as velocity, angle of release, and trajectory. Did you know you could practice geometry, basic mathematical operations, and percentages while watching or playing a basketball game at home? Now let's see how you do on today's math brain string question. Which of the following factors affects the path the basketball will take once it's shot? A, the angle at which it's shot, B, the force applied, C, the height of the player's arm, D, A and B, or E, all of the above. Ready, set, strain that brain. The correct answer is E, all of the above. How did you do? Did you get the answer correct? If not, come check out a Lakeland Magic game to learn STEM skills at the same time. Dallas Gray, TSC News. I've been playing basketball for seven years, and I didn't know Matt got into basketball like that. You weren't the only one who learned something new. Bria also has some new information for us. Let's head on over to today's Shark School for the important announcement. Happy Friday, Sharks. I'm Bria, and here's the news you need to know to close out the week. Chess Club meets Monday from 4.15 until 5.30 in Mrs. Gray's room. Student government is selling candy grams every morning through next Thursday in the school store. For $1, you'll get a candy cane and you'll be able to send a personalized message to someone special. Candy grams will be delivered on Friday, December 21st. This week's word of the week has been luminous. It's an adjective that means full of light, bright or shiny, especially in the dark. Keep earning those Shark Bite tickets because you'll need 25 tickets to attend the PBIS reward at the Lakeland Magic Game on January 15th. Make sure you head out to Mulberry Middle School on Monday to support our boys JV and varsity basketball players in their final games of the season. Bria Irvin, TSE News.
There's nothing like sitting in the stands and cheering your home team on to victory. I wish Lakeland had more G League sports teams. Let's go to the hot topic with Briley to see what sports the Sharks want to see come to our city. In 1960, the Lakeland Tigers came to our city and has been playing baseball here ever since. Last year, city added a new minor league basketball team when the Magic played their first season. It's great to watch these teams play at home at Public Field, Joker Marchant Stadium, or at the RP Funding Center. Today's hot topic question is, what sport would you like to see have a minor league team here in Lakeland and why? If there were a minor league to come to Lakeland, I would want it to be a soccer because I love the sport. Football because I love it and it's fun. I would really like to see a minor league soccer team come to Lakeland. Uh, we do have the Lakeland Tropics uh, that already is somewhat of a minor league here in uh, Central Florida, but if we had a feeder team to the MLS, we could do a lot greater things. I would like cheerleading to come to Lakeland because it's fun. I would like an eSports team to come because gaming is popular. Soccer because it's my second favorite sport. A minor league team that I would like to see is gymnastics because i never been saw a gymnastics team in person. I wish football would come to Lakeland because I, it's, I've been playing it for five years. It's pretty fun in my opinion. I played it with my family. I'd like to see a minor league football team come to Lakeland because I like to watch college football. Come see our Lakeland Magic at their first home game of the new year, Sunday, January 6th at 6 p.m. against Wisconsin. If you're more of a baseball fan, get tickets to see our Lakeland Tigers' first home game, April 1st, 2019. Bryson McDonald, TSV News. We would like to thank the Lakeland Magic for hosting us at today's home game. I can't wait to see how they do this season. Make sure to check out the Lakeland Magic website to purchase your tickets for upcoming home games. I'm Ava. And I'm Ryla. Have, Have a three-point three weekend, Sharks!